in our last two sessions we have seen the installation of grafana postgresql server and nodred server so today in this video we will see how to ingest some data to postgresql server and from there uh, using the postgresql server as a data source we will visualize some data in grafana and we can divide this video into three sessions first is creation of database and tables development of node red flows for data ingestion to postgresql server setting up dashboard in grafana using postgresql as a data source so we will see the creation of database and tables as a prerequisite i have already created the tables required tables and databases and i will go through how i have created all so for that initially just open the pg admin and enter the required password what you have already said in that you can see here under dashboard database session there is a dash database named as grafana so this is the database i have created for storing the data what is being ingested from nodred so i have created a database named grafana and a table named nodred inside that and this table is having two columns one is temp temp and another one is time so we will go to the uh, grafana like a uh, nodred instance and this is a sample flow i have created uh, that will help us to ingest some data to postgresql server so uh, the node what i have used here are of initially the inject node so whenever there is an ingestion is happening there will be a trigger going to random node and from in the random node we will generate a random number uh, in this configuration what i have done is it will generate a random number in between 30 and 40 and the random number which is generated will be pushed to the function node in the function node i have written some javascript coding uh, which will we can see over here uh, which will get the random number generated from the earlier random number jode and uh, we will be generating a time like with the new date function and it will be converted to like uh, utc timing and i am uh, creating a like you can see over a message dot play payload function in which a sql query is constructed which initially what it is doing is like uh, it is entering some like uh, we can see over here insert into the node red node red is the my table name and temp and time are my columns inside the table and this will be the random number the random number that is generated from the random node and the time what we are fetching using date function so this is the sample uh, function uh, which will help us to create uh, the node like uh, the query with the uh, variables and it will be entering into the ingesting uh, into the postgres server uh, and setting up of this postgres server is pretty simple and just give the host address where it is running and the port address uh, where it is port of the uh, postgres db and database name so you have seen it already in my pg admin instance my database name is grafana and uh, username of the uh, database and the password so if we fill this all this data con all this configuration it will directly connect to the postgres server and will ingest data now we will see some sample ingestion how it is happening so if i trigger it over here it will ingest data 
uh, we are not seeing any data being used. So I, I'm using a debug node and I am taking an output from a function and attaching to debug node and I will again deploy it. If we click it over here, we can see that insert into my table of columns, temp and time and the values are 36 and the time timing of uh, GMT timing. Okay, so if I am clicking each time it will get triggered. We can also uh, repeat the triggering like we can put an interval over there and I am doing for a three second interval it will automatically after three seconds a trigger will be happening automatically. So we can see like after three seconds a trigger is happening. This is all setting up and ingesting data to Postgres server. Now we will see how to visualize the data in Grafana interface. So for that, open a new tab and go to Grafana interface. And we can see the dashboards. Dashboards, click on the dashboard, create new dashboard, uh, add visualization. So first thing what we need to do is uh, creation of a data source. So a data source is nothing where we get the data. So in my instance, in my scenario or in my architecture, I am using the PostgreSQL server as my data source for the Grafana. So just click it over here, create new data source and search for the PostgreSQL. Yeah, PostgreSQL. I got it over here. You can name it. Note it. So I'm just naming it as a Node server. And both my Grafana instance and my PostgreSQL server are in uh, one machine. So I can put it as localhost 5432. And my database name is Grafana. Uh, admin, my username is Postgres and give your password over here. I'm not going for any uh, security TLS or SSL mode. I'm just disabling it. After that, you can make a save and test. So it states that database connection is okay. Nothing to worry on that part. Just save. Okay. So that's it. So we have created the data sources. Again, we will go to dashboard session. And if we click on create and add visualization, we can see the server what we have created over there. And just the server, select the server. So it will be a sample matrix, sample uh, panel or a sample chart with a sample data from Grafana part we will be using the data source node red server and select the table node red column column will be temp so we have selected this part uh, tables and uh, column temperature and this is a builder part we can also uh, just enter it manually over here and select temperature from node red of limit 50 uh, to plot it in a uh, line chart or something, we will be requiring time also. So I'm just entering time also. And I'm running it manually. Yeah, we can see that. The data what we have ingested. Okay. So I'm saving this dashboard. Apply. That's it. We are able to see the data what is being injected over there. If you go to node red. Now the data is still being injected to the database. And we can see the injected data over here.
okay last uh, 15 minutes okay that was the problem like i was limiting into 50 so currently i am not limiting it i am just running it so all the data will be getting you can see the all data over here so these are all random values what is being injected from node red instance so that's it guys like we have done three part today three part today so we will see in our next video